Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it's Debsy and the place to be. It's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys, and happy Monday. It is a happy Monday for me because I'm off today and tomorrow. Hooray. Um, didn't do much today. All I basically did was watch TV and <laughs> slept. I don't know why. I was so like, I was just tired. Like the whole day I was just worn out. I didn't do anything crazy. I mean, I stayed up late. For me, late was 1133. So, <laughs> but I don't know why. I was so, I was just so tired today. So I hope everybody had a great start to the week. It is Monday, so that means that it is Man Crush Monday. I was thinking, who could I spotlight today? And then I thought to one of my one of the shows that Dolly watches all the time. And that is not Law and Order, but Chicago Fire. She always says on Wednesday she's going to Chicago for Chicago Fire. She watches Chicago Fire. And Chicago Med, and then on Thursday she goes to New York because she watches all of the SB, all of the um, Law and Order shows. That's her favorite show. So I thought I would spotlight somebody from Chicago Fire. We're going to be talking about the luscious, yummy Taylor Kinney. So Taylor Kinney, and I always say every time we're watching that, I watch that show with her. I always say I wouldn't be upset if he rolled up to a house to, if my house was on fire. I wouldn't want my house to be on fire, but if he rolled up, I might need help. I might need assistance. Definitely do. So Taylor Kinney, he was born in Lancaster, PA on July 15th, 1981. Um, his career began on the small screen. It was in 2006. He was in a TV show on a network called My Network TV. He played a character, his character's name was Luke Gianni, and it was in a TV show called Fashion House. Um, he stayed on the small screen quite a bit of his career. So in 2008, he was in an episode of Bones. Um, he was in, from 2009 to 2010, he was in a TV show called A Trauma. And then in 2010 to 2011, he had a recurring role on season two and three of The Vampire Diaries. He played Mason Lockwood. In 2012, he was on the big screen with Jessica Chastain, among others, in Zero Dark Thirty. I believe Zero Dark Thirty was up for Best Picture at the Oscars that year. Um, also in 2012, 2012 he was kind of busy because he was in two episodes of the TV show um, Shameless. Um, he was also in an episode of the TV show Castle. Now, what we know him from, what a lot of people know him from, was Chicago Fire. So he started on Chicago Fire in 2012. He's still on it. Um, he is a co-lead. He plays Lieutenant Kelly Severide. For his work on Chicago Fire, he actually won in 2016. He won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Dramatic TV Actor. Um, in 2014, he was in, starting in 2014 to present, he was in 10 episodes on a recurring basis of Chicago PD. And from starting in 2015 to present, he um, has been in eight recurring episodes of, as a recurring character in eight episodes of Chicago Med. In 2014, he was in the movie, The Other Woman. I believe that was with uh, Leslie Mann. Cameron Diaz and Kate Upton, I believe. That's one movie I did see in the movie theaters. Um, I don't know why. I thought it looked. I thought it looked cute. It was cute, and he ended up playing the love interest of um, of Cameron Diaz in that. Sorry if I spoiled it, but he ends up with Cameron Diaz. And interestingly enough, in 2011, he was in um, a Lady Gaga video. He played Lady Gaga's love interest in You and I um, art turned into real life after that because after they worked on the video together, they began dating. And then in 2015, they were engaged and then they broke up the engagement in 2016. But from what I understand, they're still friendly. So that is awesome to see. Um, charity, with charity work. 
Um, he has supported for several years um, Special Olympics Chicago. He actually did the polar plunge with Lady Gaga. Um, he had also helped Gaga with her um, Born This Way Foundation. He has the Taylor Kinney Orphanage Foundation, which helps with fundraising for World Care Foundation. And he has also raised money for his hometown fire department, the Lancaster City Fire Foundation. Some interesting facts. He has, he lived, he lived in and he grew up in Lancaster, which is, if you don't know Pennsylvania, Lancaster is in kind of um, central PA, so it's in the middle. Um, so he's not that far from Philadelphia. Like here's Lancaster and then Philadelphia is over here. So he has been a diehard um, Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles fan his entire life. Him and his, um, him and his brother actually went to the Super Bowl whenever the Eagles won it back in 2018. So he is a diehard Eagles fan. Um, he went to West Virginia University um, for business, for business, I think it was business management. He went for business courses. He left during his junior year, moved to Hawaii, and he worked for a year as a carpenter. Also when he was in Hawaii, um, among the other odd jobs that he had, he worked with the roofing. Would let him on my roof any day to do some roofing, so I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> he, now, rather than living in um, California, he lives in Chicago, but he does not like Chicago. He does not like one of the delicacies that Chicago is known for, and that's deep dish pizza. He doesn't like it. Um, his first celebrity crush was Peg Bundy. He had said, I guess somebody had asked who it was. He said Peg Bundy, and they were all like, what? And he had said he never understood why Al just didn't want to sleep with Peg Bundy. That was his crush, Peg Bundy. Um, he does his own stunts. And he actually owns a stake in a small theater in his hometown, in downtown Lancaster. It's called Zo Zotropolis. It's Z-O-E-T-R-O-P-O-L-I-S, Zotropolis. And it's a, it's a theater. Um, not a theater for like, like it's a movie theater and not a theater for plays. Um, so he, own, he owns a stake in that, but he is not a silent member. He, oh no. Um, because it was reported that during the start of the lockdown, the pandemic lockdown, he was spotted helping with takeout and delivery orders. Once again, listen, if he was delivering stuff, I would order every single night. So that is Taylor Kinney. I always think he's so attractive. His eyes are what get me. So um, with that being said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some videos, some pictures here and here and here and here or here. So I hope you guys enjoy these pictures. Please, as I said before, if there's anybody that you would like for me to spotlight in a man crush Monday, tell me. And as long as they're not a real heinous person, I will absolutely, I will absolutely do it for you. Um, uh, and with that being said, I hope everybody, that should, I should get, I should get merch. If I ever get merch, it's one of the things is going to say, with that being said, another one is going to be, tell me, what's, what another, what's another one? What's another uh, saying that I say quite a bit? Because I know there's a lot. So anyways, like that. Don't come for me. So with that being said, if nobody told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. Please spread kindness, acceptance, and love liberally. And also, listen, check in on people um, because you never know when somebody is, is hiding something because it could be smiles on the outside, but that might not be what's on the inside. So please just take care of each other, stay safe, and I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye, guys.